Obedient movement battles Labour Party, threatens breakaway. <laughs> the Labour Party and over 500 support groups that make up the Obedient movement may soon part ways, leaving the party in pains and Peter Obi's presidential candidate in jeopardy. Investigation shows that funding and the composition of the Presidential Campaign Council, PPC, of the Labour Party are the major factors causing trouble. Complaints about the form of the PPC is still causing rips since it was constituted on October 12, 2022, and later rejected and inaugurated last week following complaints by aggrieved groups who felt left out. Many leaders of the Ubidati support groups that traveled to Abuja for the inauguration of the PPC on Friday felt let down and exploited after they were told by the national chairman of the party, Julius Aburi, to go and source funds. The convener of some of the big groups with presence in many states and local government areas in the south, confided in the will or condition of anonymity that the national chairman's response to their request for financial support had angered angered them. He said, many of us have been spending money on this curse through contributions. We ask Labour Party for funding support, and we are being told to go and source funds. I paid my way to Abuja, paid for my accommodation, and feed myself in a hotel, and the party cannot offer any form of support to us for electricity. Aburi, during the inauguration of the PC on Friday, urged members to go look for funds for the campaign because the presidential candidate does not have the funds to run the campaign alone. The presidential candidate of the party cannot fund the presidential contest alone. Therefore, all of us here have the responsibilities to solicit for funds to fund the campaign, Aburi said after the installation of the PPC on Friday in Abuja. On the composition of the PC, PCC, after the leaders who spoke to the will pointed out, many members are not stakeholders. Many have been on the field to popularize the movement and the Labour Party indirectly, they said, have been excluded. If things are left unattended to in the coming days, convenance of the aggrieved groups who were still holding meetings on Friday night through Saturday morning have threatened to pull out of the coalition with the Labour Party and look for another candidate to support in the upcoming general election. As a way out of these developments, they are insisting on speaking directly with Obi before deciding on the next step. Asked for his reaction, the Labour Party spokesperson, Obayemi, simply said, there is no problem pressed further. He added, nothing of the nature you are asking has been brought to my attention. In any case, people have the right to validate their complaints, but trust Nigerians People will still complain, even when problems have been solved. But take it from me when I tell you that all is well. The presidential spokesperson, Tako, could not be reached for his reaction, and the member of the PPC, Kenny Adewale, said he was not qualified to speak on the issue when contacted. As at press time, the Deputy Director General of Campaign, the South, the Chief, Chief Anubbe, is said to have prevailed on the 
fueling groups to calm down and allow party leaders to look into their complaints. Meanwhile, Nigerians have reacted. Someone said, but why? APC is fighting Peter Obi. PDP is fighting Obi. NNPP is fighting Obi. Atiku is fighting Obi. Kwan Kwasu is fighting Obi. Tinubu is fighting Obi. Showare is fighting Obi. Mwike was berating Obi. Fadam Baka is attacking Obi. Obaseke is lamenting. Everything is just there. Dino Milai is fighting Obi. Obar is berating Obi. Nedi Mwoke is fighting Obi. Obi, Obi every year, everywhere. Reno Omokri is fighting Obi. The governor, the former governor, Shetima is fighting Obi. Governor Erufai is fighting Obi. Gandola is fighting Obi. Many are worried, yet Obi is moving up. Hmm, I love that. My group is donating 100 heroes next week. Wow, beautiful. We just have to win this election. There is no alternative to this. Labour Party should be careful because we are not like other parties that fight like women and children. I will think that every group must be carried along. No discrimination, please. Obedience are the mirror of new Nigeria. Okay. Um since Nigerians have you know made up their mind to support Peter Obi, they should as well understand that Peter Obi did not steal money to be doling out. You understand? Labour Party does not have the money now to be doling out. But I'm not just I'm not still saying that maybe all those small small expenses should not be taken care of. But anybody who is working for Labour Party should make up his or her mind that nobody is giving you dollars. Nobody is going to give you dollar. There is no money to give. You just have to work for, you know, the, the new Nigeria to be rebated. That is what everybody is talking about. If we can ignore our immediate need now, we go enjoy tomorrow. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.